Welcome to North Elementary's library website. This site has basic functionality. Hours and contact information are prominently displayed. You can access the library catalog, which allows students to see the physical collection and also with login information, get to the Lightbox interactive eBooks, the regular eBooks and the audio books. This is a great feature for students to have access to the resources of the library outside of school hours. They're very easy to open up. Simply click, open, and put in your username and password to get into this resource. There is also links to the public library, the state library, and the Library of Congress if you should need those. This um, ebook link allows you to click into the ebook collection. That seems to be um, a shared collection that the school district maintains. Um, this is a very nice um, feature to be able to just click right into the ebooks because sometimes the young children don't really navigate Destiny very well. Um, although it does seem to be the same books you can click on in Destiny. A link to tumble books through the public library is provided. It states that a library card is needed, but it clicks through to the site. Tumble books is a wonderful site that provides books and other resources for kids that might not otherwise have any reading materials. Okay. These links are, aren't really links. Um, most of them are just pictures. They don't really click through to anything. Um, Britannica Image Quest, Pebble Go, and World Book Online do click through to the website where you are given an option to put in your user information. Um, the rest of them really, they're not old links. They're simply not links at all. This really needs to be cleaned up um, or repaired so that these links actually go to where they're supposed to go to. Okay. The All About Our Library program link leads to information about the library policies. Parents may find it useful to read about checkout policies and the basic schedule so that they can help their students make responsible choices when they're using the library. The special programming section could be beneficial to students, administration, parents, and the community if it was used to showcase the programming with the specifics of what is occurring, pictures of the events, and information about upcoming events. The role of the librarian as an instructional partner is reflected on this page in the statement about collaborative instruction, in which she says that the media specialist and the teachers co-plan lessons. The role of program administrator is hinted at by the text in the special programming section. Both of these roles would be better supported by evidence if the website had photographs of the work, products, students, and programs. District Bookmarks takes you to a set of links maintained by the dead district. Resources calendars, leads to a blank page. 
this should really be hidden if it's um, not use, useful. The media specialist link goes to Ms. Harris. And then where we have some useful information to get to know her. And North News leads to a blank page. In summary, the strength of this website is that it provides students access to the library's virtual resources. Other than that, it is not a useful positive web presence for this library. I have some recommendations that would strengthen the website. First, this website needs to feature the students and the work that is going on in the library. This is what stakeholders want to see. Administration especially likes to be able to point out the innovative things going on at the school. Second, curated links for students, teachers, and parents with things like homework help, reading resources, instructional tools, and internet safety would help transform this website into a useful destination for those stakeholders. Third, a section for special events and community outreach would help this site. Specific events could be planned and publicized, which is good for both the school and the community members. Thank you.